You're watching Grizzly News Network. We have a new Teacher of the Month. Later in the show, we'll introduce you to her. And seniors, time is running out for you to order your cap and gowns. Details ahead. Plus, the baseball team has been throwing wins. Later in the show, our sports team explains. phones should be allowed in school? Of course, not everybody be doing schoolwork. I mean, not everybody come to school to do schoolwork. I come to school to be on my phone, feel me? Yeah, cause like, what if there's a school shooter and like we had to call our mom or parents? School. Yes, I think phones should be allowed in school because it helps students who have disadvantages at school and like when they need it for like times that they do need it. Seniors, if you haven't ordered your cabin gowns, you may be out of time. Graduation is six weeks away and it takes six weeks for an order to come in. Remember, if you don't have these items, you will not be allowed to graduate. If you haven't ordered your cap and gown yet, you need to give Joshtons a call as soon as possible. That number is 479-968-3269. Time is also running out for seniors to pay off their debts. On the delinquent list, to check to and see if you're on the list, check in front of the media center or the cafeteria. Seniors, you will not receive your diploma until all of your fees are paid. Now is the time to order your yearbook. This is the perfect way to remember your high school memories forever. If you'd like to order a yearbook, log on log on to yearbookforever.com or if you would rather place your order at school you can go to room 242 but you must place your order soon for there is only a limited number of yearbooks left you have until may 6 to get that done Seniors, you still have time to get your senior posters made. This is where we highlight you for getting into a college, university, or even the military. To get your poster, you must bring your acceptance letter to room 104, and Mr. Coates will have your picture made. If you have any questions, you can email Mr. Coates at acoates at fortsmithschools.org. It's no secret that Northside is committed to supporting the education needs of military connected students. This is why we are in the process of applying to become a Purple Star School. This distinction recognizes and supports students that are connected by the military. Schools that earn the award receive a special Purple Star recognition to display on campus as well as a link on the state's Department of Education's website. No word on when this process will be complete. Of course, GNN will be sure to update you as this information is available. Looking ahead, DECA is planning a Powerpuff game fundraiser. This will take place on April 21st at 6 p.m. here on campus. It will cost students $3. Tickets will be on sale the week of the event. There will be girls playing football and boys cheering. The marching band will be a kazoo band made up of your faculty. Concession stand will be open for snacks. All profits will be donated to Ronald McDonald House here in Fort Smith. With the end of the school year close, administration wants you 
wants to celebrate those students who have done what has been asked of them throughout the year. So, they are throwing those students a party. It's called Street Jam and it will take place Friday, May the 13th here on campus. To participate, you must have a C or better in all your classes, have no more than three unexcused or parent permission days, starting from March 28th to May 13th. We'll have more details about games and food closer to the event. One hour later. It's that time again where we recognize the Teacher of the Month. This is where students highlight a teacher they believe is talented and dedicated to their students. We'd like to congratulate Mrs. Story on receiving M March Teacher of the Month. We'd also like to congratulate GNN's own Jordan Baker. She completed in a very challenging FCCLA Star Event competition and made nationals to San Diego, California this summer. She represented Northside and Fort Smith Public Schools with character and determination. Nice job, Jordan. We are proud of you. Freshmen, here's a reminder that Freshman Formal is only a few weeks away and you still have a chance to get your ticket. The dance is Saturday, April 30th to attend. You cannot be on the delinquent list. And you must be passing all of your current semester <laughs> classes. Stop by Mr. Hurst's room to get a ticket. That's room 201. Now it's time for sports. Let's send it over to Joey and Christian for more. Good morning, Northside. Hope you are having a wonderful morning. We have a lot to talk about in our Grizzly Sports, so let's waste no time. This is your Grizzly Sports Report. We move on with soccer where they continue in conference play, leading on to playoffs. They took on Conway last Friday where the boys took a loss 3-1, to one, but the girls were able to get a win 3-1. to one. Great job, Lady Bears. We're on to ROTC where they travel over to Brooklyn with the Raider team. If they're able to pull off the win in this competition, they take the state title. Good luck out there, put the best effort, and bring home the state title. We move over to baseball where our baseball team took on Conway last Friday. However, they lost 0-2. to two. They then went on to play North Little Rock Tuesday. We'll give you those results later. They then took on Cabot, which is today. So if y'all can come out, go support that. We move over to softball as our softball girls took on Conway Friday as well. However, they pulled off a dub, 5-4. to four. Good job, ladies. They then take on North Little Rock Tuesday. Best of luck at that game. We'll give you those results later, of course. And then Friday, they take on Cabot. So best of luck today out there, girls. I know y'all are chasing those rings. We move on with eSports where they enter week 5 of the regular season, two weeks away from playoffs. League of Legends took on Carlson High School and took a win 2-0. to In Splatoon 2, they had a scrimmage against Toombs County High School and took a loss 3-0. to And Smash Bros. Smash and Dash took on Calico Rock High School and took a win 2-0. to The Top Deck team took on South Pike County High School and took a loss 2-0. to In Mario Kart, the Willie Good team took on Searcy High School and took a win 2-0. to They also had a second game where they took on Springdale High School and had another win 2-0. to In Madden, Timor took on Bay High School and had a win by forfeit. Davion Hinkle took on DeQueen High School and had a 2-0 win. Ron Aquil Smith took on Crossy High School and took a loss 2-0. In Rocket League, Alpha Team took on Cabot High School and took a loss 3-1. And Beta Team took on Truman High School, taking a win 3-0. Keep working for those playoffs and get those rings. Well, that about wraps it up for our sports support. Sports only keep getting closer to playoffs, so the work only keeps getting harder, and the effort has to be there. Keep up the work, great job, and we'll see you guys next week. Uh, what up, y'all? Yeah, soundtrack, what's poppin', baby? Uh, y'all ain't know, I go by the name of Lupe Fiasco, representing that first and 15. Yeah, uh, and this one right here, I dedicate this one right here to all my homies out there grinding. You know what I'm saying? Legally and illegally. <laughs> you know if you'd about? like to be featured on next week's Spirit Picks, be sure to post your picture under the hashtag GNN Squad. 
Well, that's all for today's show. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.